How's it going everybody? I'm here in North Alabama hiking and today I'm at the Richard Martin Rail Trail in Elkmont, Alabama and I'm on the north end today. I've never done a video for y'all on the north end so I'm gonna gonna do that today and here I've hiked to the covered bridge which is a really really cool section of hike. Um, get down here and get y'all a good view uh, this time of year is the best time to uh, hike this section you can see out a lot better uh, and it's a really really scenic area you got a nice little creek down below As you can see right there and then over here like i said so much easier to see out this time of year you see where the creek splits right there very scenic uh, the best way to tell you to do this particular section in the hike because this is a very long trail in total length it's over 10 miles in total length but there's certain sections where you can park and get to an access um, the quickest way to get to the covered ridge here is to park in what I call the veto area it's on the very very north end of the trail and there's a parking area at the very north end and it's about a two mile hike from the parking area to here if you start there so about a four mile round trip. That's about the easiest way for you to get here. Um, this is a really cool trail no matter what section you're hiking. If you go in the south end, uh, there's a, 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 the Battle of Sulphur Creek section or a Civil War battle happened there. But on this end, you get, you get the covered bridge. And this is uh, one of the two favorite sections of trail to do is either hiking here to the cover bridge or hiking to the Civil War site. And I've got a video on the uh, Battle of Sulphur Creek, I do believe, loaded up. If not, I'll get one. But uh, that's a really cool section. And if you go further on the south end, uh, there's the swampland area down in there. Uh, so that, that's pretty cool to hike to as well. But I like doing this section in the winter when everything gets cleared out. You can see out a lot better. Um, so this cover bread section, I think, was added here for, for the trail. But still, it's really cool because you do not see a lot of cover bridges. And... Uh, this is one place where if you want to get a good scenic hike in, say a covered bridge, and you're also hiking through a little bit of history. Uh, this converted, uh, this trail, which is a converted 10 mile section of train track, was actually very important to this area, especially during the Civil War days. This was a key supply line uh, during those times. So using this railway and controlling this railway uh, was important. So any section of it you're hiking though, you're, you're hiking through a bit of local history. And uh, anyway, for this, for this video, I just wanted to give y'all a look at the north end and another thing on this end that you might be interested in is it's kind of mountainous i don't know if you call them mountains but uh very hilly um so that just kind of adds to the scenery and uh anyway if you if you get the chance uh come up here and hike this trail another good way to do this trail 
it's kind of like a canoe shuffle if you can get two vehicles and park somebody park in one section and somebody in the other depending on how far you want to go and do it that uh, that way it's one of the best ways to do it uh I actually i would suggest if you could if you want to hike on the north end uh park in the veto area area and then somebody park in downtown outline that'll be about a probably a good five mile five to six mile hike one way but like i said doing the doing the shuffle that way will get you a good hike in you get to say a lot more than you know parking and walking a few miles and coming back so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and hope you get a chance to visit the trail here in elmont uh, i know the local it's a very small town the local businesses would like to see you here uh, there's a great restaurant here called the red caboose uh, very very good food stop by and give them a visit if they're open Anyway, thanks for watching the video.